closed captioning provided by the full-time MBA program in the Haslam College of Business. Learn, transform, lead. It all starts here. Big Orange Basketball, the Rick Barnes Show. Time now to go inside the orange for an exclusive look at the basketball balls. The Rick Barnes Show, hosted by Tennessee head basketball coach Rick Barnes and the Vol Network's Bob Kessley. Pulls up, fires a three. That's good. Welcome to Big Orange Country and the Rick Barnes Show. Brought to you each week by the Big Orange Debit Card. Only from the official bank of the balls. First Tennessee. 5-4. Pick and roll in a new Ford with available EcoBoost technology. Only at your local Ford dealer. By Verizon. Come home to a better network. Verizon, official wireless provider of the Tennessee Volunteers. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. With agents in more communities than any other insurer, Tennessee turns to Farm Bureau Insurance, the official insurance of the Vols. Tennessee Volunteers had a big win over the Auburn Tigers. Now they get set to go on the road for two big games starting Saturday at Missouri. But coach, a good win over the uh, Tigers. It was a good win when you think that uh, both Kevin Punter and Armani Moore didn't have their best games. And it was really neat to see Shambari Phillips and uh, Devin Bachman and even Robert Hubbs break out of some slumps. But uh, Shambari's defense early, we wanted him to really set a tone for us on the defensive end, and he did a nice job doing that. Punter picked up his second foul about uh, eight minutes into the game, so some guys had to step up at that point, didn't they? Yeah, again, Kevin, uh, you know, as much as I hate to say it, I thought he looked tired. I thought he looked tired at the Arkansas game, and uh, but uh, he had a, you know, his fouls were those reaching fouls, where a little bit where he's just not moving his feet there. But when that happened, you know, uh, again, Shambari really played his best game. I think he found out it's not real easy playing 31 minutes at the level of intensity that you have to play with. But uh, K KP will get back because he works so hard at what he does. And uh, But obviously going down the stretch, all this experience that the young guys are getting is going to help us. You really played well defensively against Auburn. Anytime you hold a team in the 20 shooting their percentage, that's pretty good. We did, and 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 there was a. We're getting better defensively. You know, we're a much different team than we were at the start of conference play on the defensive end, and we need to again stay consistent with that. That should really be our calling card, and if we can just get really consistent there, it's going to give us a chance to stay in a lot more games. But your young guys, like Shambari Phillips, like Kyle Alexander, they're starting to get it defensively, aren't they? Well, Kyle's the first one that figured it out. He he really started about three weeks ago, where he uh, understood the importance of getting in a stance to start with, and. And if you watch him on tape, I mean, he really, it's really neat that, uh, that he's figured that part of it out and it keeps him engaged. And then uh, Shambari has proven that he can guard the ball. He's still working uh, to get better away from the ball, but Shambari still needs to be more consistent. And Admiral is, is a player that, uh, again, he's, he's still working to become what we need him to be on the defensive end. A guy who's probably improved the most on our team this year defensively, though, is probably Dietrich Mostella. Yeah, and he's got some quickness and some a uh, little bit of that being able to get into passing lanes, doesn't he? When, when he really, when he's engaged and he's locked in, when he doesn't worry about offense and really just thinks about what we need him to do defensively, that's when he really plays his best basketball. We'll come back, we'll break down Tennessee's victory over the Auburn Tigers next as we talk Tennessee basketball with Rick Barnes. You're never too young to be a VFL. Sign up for the Junior Vols Club. For more information or to sign up for Junior Vols, visit utsports.com. Presented by the Knoxville Orthopedic Clinic. Proudly serving the University of Tennessee Athletic Department since 1949. One Tennessee. One sustainable goal. Zero waste in big orange country. No sort recycling. Now, zero excuses. Made possible by Eastman, Food City, and Waste Connections. No sort makes it easy to be a good sport. Take your shot at sustainability. At Tennessee, good sports always recycle. Our family, we're not like any other. We're spirited, tough, loyal. We believe in tradition and honor. Generation after generation, we're balls for life. This is my family. And this is my truck. It's all about family football and F-150 on a Tennessee Saturday. Now drive F-150 with 0 for 60 or get up to $10,349 in total savings. Go Vols! 
At Farm Bureau Health Plans, you may have heard us say, we've got you covered. What does gotcha mean? It means no matter who you are. Or what age. Whether you just need coverage for one. Or for you, your wife, or kids. You've got choices for great health plans. And Medicare supplements. All our plans have options. With different levels of coverage. And deductibles and co-payments. Mom, can I get covered? Of, of course. course. <laughs> have questions? Visit fbhealthplans.com or your local Farm Bureau office. We've got you covered. Excellence is finding ways to solve new challenges. It's one of the reasons we created our six centers of excellence. Physicians from different disciplines working together to provide better solutions for you. It's a collaborative effort that pushes us to be our best and to provide you with the best care possible. Excellence is a journey that we take every day. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. The Rick Barnes Show is being brought to you by the DISH three-year TV price guarantee. Same price every month for three years. DISH, proud sponsor of the Big Orange. By the natural gas utilities and pipeline companies in Tennessee. Natural gas. And by UT Medical Center, Tennessee's hospital. UT Medical Center, wisdom for your life. It's time for our breakdown segment on Tennessee basketball. Coach, you made a change in the starting lineup against Auburn. Talk about that. Shabari Phillips, we, we wanted Shabari to start for us because we wanted him to really be somewhat of a junkyard dog for us, try to get out there and put pressure on our point guard. And, uh, and he did a good job knowing that he was going to be uh, having, a, having a guard a guy much bigger, much taller. Bowers, yeah. And, and, uh, and he not only had to guard him on the perimeter, picking him up early, but having to guard him in the post and really good clip of how hard he worked. So let's talk about Shambari. And he's kind of getting it now, isn't he, what he's well, got to do defensively. We think he's improving. And right here, and what, what, what we wanted him to do, again, right here, on Bowers, pick him up early right there. It, that's right him there. right there. Yep, we want him to pick him up early right there. And then they do a very good job right here, obviously seeing that they've got a mismatch and he runs directly to the post. And we knew that would happen. And what's Shambari down here? If you just keep your eye on him, this whole clip, I mean, he really is working. Kyle does a good job there getting his hands up. But again, Shambari right there, again, I'll show up full speed where he really does a good job fronting the post right there, deflects the ball, they still come up with it. Shambari's still down there working. And uh, just trying to stay around, trying to keep his guy from catching it. But uh, he's really working hard down there, you see. Just, again, that's a tough thing to do. And they're, they're obviously looking to get him the ball. Now, a shot goes up, he's got to block out, and we come away with it. That was really a good possession on his part, and that's why we really started it. And the other thing you wanted to do is get some other guys involved, which you did, and Robert Hubbs came up big for you. Well, we did. And, you know, uh, Robert's a guy that we need, and. Uh, uh, this is not the clip. I don't think we have him right here, but what's it right here? We're just in a little basic movement right here. And this is really a good job by Bachman. You see the movement we're trying to get. What we're trying to do on this uh, sometimes right here, you know, the a rule is freedom of movement. Players are supposed to be allowed to move. And we, and we cut hard enough right here. You don't want players to be able to jam you up. And so you have to fight for your space on the floor. And right here, Box would be fighting through that harder, but he cuts. Here he sets a screen, then he gets a screen, and he, and he fades off that. He shot, probably shouldn't have it. Great job right there, just drop past to Armani in that drop position. Armani shot fake, and he finds a wide open Dietrich Mostello right there. Really good ball movement on, on our part. Mostello was involved. Bachman had a much better game, too, and then you mentioned Hubs. Yeah, and right, right here, uh, Robert Hubs were coming down the floor. What we want to do here is just get him a quick post up. And he comes off this screen right here by Derek Reese and gets himself in the post. And Robert's really good here. He catches it, and then really just a really nice quick move high off the glass, and that's, a, that's really a great shot for him. He had 20 points in the game, so that was a big lift. Yeah, and right here at the opening tip, what, what we're wanting to get done right here is, again, this is where Bach really did a good job. You know, we got down the floor, KP getting the ball moving here. We get a swan, and again, Bach comes up hard. One, two dribbles you know, after a shot fake, and that's really a great uh, move on him. This is the stuff we want to see him do right here. When he gets there, shot fake, one, two dribble, and get into his shot, he's got a nice high release. He's a great shooter, isn't he? Well, when he gets his feet set and he really gets his hips and sets down, he really, he really does shoot the ball well. It's when he gets himself off balance where he's not really set up is when he really struggles. All right, so he executed very well offensively against Auburn. Now you got to take it on the road for two games. Well, we do, and again, that's this time of year. You, know, you look at everybody's schedule. Bobby, it, it doesn't matter where you're playing home or away. Every game's going to be hard fought, and we're going to go to Missouri where, uh, again, Kim Anderson, I think, really has done a really terrific job. I mean, he, we know that he's had some situations he's had to work through, but uh, I've known Kim for a long time, and, uh, 
Uh, you know, he was uh, at one time director of uh, basketball operations for the Big 12 mm -hmm. uh, when before he went back into coach, won a national championship at a Division II level, and everyone in the league has a great respect for him and what he's going to get done at Missouri. Their team struggling, but still, you got you got to respect them. Well, we've all struggled at some point in time this year, and so there's no giving on anybody's schedule. So we're going to have to go in and play really well. Let's break it down. Tennessee basketball. We'll have more with Coach Rick Barnes in a moment. With SEC action heating up of the basketball court, now is the time to gear up for Tennessee basketball. On sale now at participating Cracker Barrel Old Country stores are My All T-shirts. Pick up your shirt while supplies last and give your all for Tennessee. Presented by Dish. Well, we all know the power T is Tennessee. I love pulling out my big orange debit card. I want everybody to know that I'm committed to First Tennessee Bank the way First Tennessee Bank is committed to me. This is something really special because you understand the commitment that First Tennessee Bank has made to the University of Tennessee. You know that you're part of a great team and you're proud of it. You're proud to show that card and you know that you love the loyalty that they've given us. You'll find the power T at First Tennessee. Healthcare is most effective when it's customized to you, the patient. That's why Volunteer Pharmacy offers compounding services using state-of-the-art equipment and high-quality ingredients. This allows us to offer medications and dosage forms that are not commercially available and free of unnecessary additives, so you get the most out of your prescribed treatments. Let our family take care of your family. Visit Volunteer Pharmacy today to learn how we can customize your medications to work for you. Daddy, why do zebras have stripes? Uh, camouflage. Camouflage, honey. Why is the sky blue? Refraction. Refraction. Why do I have fingerprints? What is the NASDAQ? Do turtles like cheese? Yes. No. Johannes Kepler. The Constitution. Zinc with a coating of copper. Where do babies come from? Check, please. Farmers have all the answers. Get yours at FBITN.com. Your utility bills keep changing every month. Natural gas water heating, more than ever, means real economy. The supply of natural gas in Tennessee keeps growing. Should mean natural gas homeowners can look forward to years of real economy in utility bills. Natural gas heats water twice as fast as same-size electric. Real economy for years to come. In Tennessee, man's best friend is... Natural gas. Almost. It's time now to go inside the orange. Brought to you by Vol Network Home Entertainment. Available at participating Walmart locations and online at volnetwork.tv. Alexander with a block shot on cue. You don't have to score baskets to have an impact on the basketball game. That's what Kyle Alexander brings. He brings size and he can reject the shots. As a freshman, Kyle Alexander is working to prove his skill set on the court. Though in Coach Barnes's eyes, Alexander has already proved his character. I'd gotten a text one uh, night from uh, the general manager at uh, Mass General here in Knoxville telling me that Kyle Alexander had walked into the store and had uh, purchased a blanket for a homeless person on a really cold night. He's a, he's a very kind, humble person that really does care about people and that's a big win. Big win not only for him, but a big win for our basketball program. As Alexander works on his game, one thing is crystal clear, his passion for the sport. I just love the fact that you can always just keep getting better. Like there's always stuff you can, you can always improve your shot, you can always improve your handle. There's so many things you can do with basketball. Bounce. <coughs> there you go. There's nothing that makes you want to get in the gym more than when your shot starts falling and practice more and when you do something, you've been working on something and, um, on your own and then in practice, you just bust up the move and it goes in. Like, there's nothing, there's no better feeling than that. So then that just means you want to keep working and working. And I just love getting better and I just want to keep improving and just adding more things to my arsenal. I think the most impressive thing has been his commitment to a work ethic. For a young guy, you, you never know when they come in and they yeah, keep it up, keep it up. They'll embrace putting time in, and especially someone who hasn't been playing basketball very long. Only three years into basketball, but the forward has a positive outlook on his future. Alexander. Oh, teardrop jump. 
just knowing that well, the future can hold so many beautiful things for everybody, you know, for me, for my family, for everybody, all my teammates. Just, you just want to keep being successful, 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 so you just keep working. You took basketball away from him, and whatever field he chose to go into, uh, I don't care what it is, he would be successful because he's the kind of person that he gets it. He has a great heart, has one of the biggest hearts of uh, anybody I've ever been around. Sizing up at 6'9", Alexander can make an impact at Tennessee, but what will make a lasting impact on others is his heart. For the Rick Barnes Show, I'm Maddie Glab. you got some terrific young people uh, on your freshman class, but Kyle Alexander's special. He is a special person, and uh, you know we knew when uh, we started recruiting him, and once we really uh, got to know his family, and, and uh, once you sit down and you start talking to him, you realize how serious he was, and uh, he had only been playing basketball a couple of years. And but uh, once he got here on campus, and you realized you had someone as like a sponge. He wanted to everything you could throw at him. He'd try to soak it up, and uh, he is he certainly is. Uh, not disappoint us in any way because he is going to be a terrific player. I think we're all going to love watching him grow up. He's got great feet from his soccer days and you can just see that footwork getting better and better too. And more than anything is his feel for the game. He's been playing two years and two years and then think about it not playing a lot in those two years and then all at once coming to you know the highest level of college basketball you can get to and and being asked to play and he said to me a week ago he said I, I knew I could do it, but I didn't know if I could do it early. And I told him, you need to change that, that thought process because we need you to do it right now. Now, yeah. And, um, and he's getting better. The other night, you know, he made, uh, he actually got the ball. Now, it might have been the only time all year where he got the ball and tried to shoot a jump hook, which he got fouled. And then he also had a turnaround jump shot that he made. Those are two shots that he has been working on consistently, consistently uh, since he's been here. And, and um, he's going to be a good one for us. Yeah, Kyle Alexander getting better and better. We'll take in the gym next as we continue talking Tennessee basketball. Calhoun's and the Vol Network invite you to talk Tennessee basketball every Monday night on Vol Calls. Join special guests in person or tune in from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern as the Vol Network broadcasts live from Calhoun's on the River in downtown Knoxville. This card comes out. Prices come down. With the Food City Value Card, you earn value points toward 15 cents off per gallon or 5% off your groceries. Only at Food City. Root Metrics, in the nation's largest independent study, tested wireless performance across the country. Verizon won big with 153 state wins. AT&T got 38, Sprint got two, and T-Mobile got zero. Verizon also won first in the US for data, call, speed, and reliability. AT&T got text. Stuck on an average network? Join Verizon, and we'll cover your cost to switch. Excellence is a choice to constantly set your expectations higher. It's how we receive the magnet designation for outstanding patient care and nursing. A recognition only 7% of hospitals nationwide achieve. And it's earned by professional nurses who constantly stay at the forefront of medical care. Excellence is a commitment. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. One Tennessee, one sustainable goal, zero waste in Big Orange Country, no sort recycling, now zero excuses. Made possible by Eastman, Food City, and Waste Connections. No sort makes it easy to be a good sport. Take your shot at sustainability. At Tennessee, good sports always recycle. The Rick Barnes Show is being brought to you by Farm Bureau Health Plans. We've got you covered. Get a rate quote online at fbhealthplans.com or at your local Tennessee Farm Bureau office. 
by Eastman Chemical Company, promoting sustainability. Remember, good sports always recycle. And by Vol Network Home Entertainment, available at participating Walmart locations and online at volnetwork.tv. Maddie Glab here, sitting down with three pretty important guys. You got Brad Woodson, Lucas Campbell, and Lamonte Turner. These guys bring the energy on the bench. And I'm talking crazy energy. So when did you guys decide this was going to be the role you were going to take on when you're on the bench? Coach Barnes gave us all notebooks, and the, he gave us a little paper we had to write. And ours said, uh, I will bring energy and enthusiasm on the bench every game. So kind of from that moving on, we, need, we, we knew we needed to step it up and uh, just go crazy over here. So when you guys are getting hype on this bench, is there different celebrations for different things that happen on the court? Is there one for like a three-pointer, one for an and one? We have tons for three-pointers. Uh, well, three-pointer, there's a couple we've had where we jump on each other's back, I go left hand, he goes right hand up. Um, we've had where he falls in my arms, stuff like that for three-pointers. And ones are usually just go crazy. Anything planned for um, SECs, maybe? Yeah. You can't plan it? Well, we can't reveal anything. anything. We can't reveal anything. You got, we got to make fans come. They want to see yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what can the fans expect? I mean, oh, they can expect the season a lot. is finishing out. Do we have some more tricks in the back? Definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely. There's, there's yeah. still going to see the Eden, but we'll have new things. Yeah. 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 It'll, it'll, it'll be exciting, so they should keep coming. They should just expect greatness. Let's play the scenario game. Bachman hits a three. What are we going to do? Who wants to... If it's just a first half three. Just first half. we got to keep it calm. Yeah, we got to warm it up. You know, get your arms a little warm. Okay. You know? got to get loose still. Okay. Get getting loose. Admiral in the post. Puts a nice little high arc to the shot, gets in, and and one. And one! Let's go! Right there. Kyle Alexander. Oh. Big body. He does a high release, which he's been working on. Yeah. He does a little turnaround high release. Okay. What do we do? I always I like to recreate what they do. Like. My boy Kyle! <laughs> My boy Kyle! I see you, Kyle! Okay. One of those I'll probably just be like, I see you, boy. Yeah. I, I see you. I actually went down the bench and gave Coach Barnes a high five for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Shimbari hits a nice jumper. Oh, yeah. You like, jumper. see you, Shim? We see you, Shim? Is this a two pointer? It's two, po it's two, two pointer. pointers. It's two pointers. It's two pointers. See you, Shim? You see you. You see you. East Coast hit those. Yeah. Give respect. Brad gets in, hits three pointer. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. I'm going down the court. I'm going to beat this. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Brad didn't three, I'd lose it. I would too, honestly. <laughs> Have to go shot another time. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is how the balls pitch in. Tennessee men's basketball team posts a lot of stats. Posting a lot of numbers means Tennessee Media Relations has to use a lot of paper for stat sheets. The Media Relations team is dedicated to recycling the leftover paper. Just another way UT pitches in. Pitch in and do your part. Sponsored by Eastman, Food City, and Waste Connections. Promote sustainability at Tennessee. Good sports always recycle. Well, in the coaching business, you really are on the go all the time. Our schedules are never routine. If you would come to practice, you'd hear the terms, go, go, go. In our life, uh, with recruiting, you go, go, go. And with that in mind, you need convenience. First Tennessee Bank is there. They're there for you, big cities, small cities, wherever you may go, you can always find First Tennessee Bank. For a coach on the go, there's only one name to know. First Tennessee, the official bank of the balls. Our family, we're not like any other. We're spirited, tough, loyal. We believe in tradition and honor. Generation after generation, we're balls for life. This is my family. And this is my truck. It's all about family football and F-150 on a Tennessee Saturday. Now drive F-150 with zero for 60 or get up to $10,349 in total savings. Go Balls! 
We interrupt these Tennessee highlights to bring you this message of thanks. To all of our Tennessee Fun family, I'd like to say thank you for what you do for Tennessee student athletes. What we do on the field is not possible without your generosity, so thank you. But most importantly, you make a difference for all of us in the classroom. You've invested in my future. In my career. In my life. So again, thank you. The Tennessee Fund is grateful to all of our donors and the difference you make in the lives of our student athletes. At Farm Bureau Health Plans, you may have heard us say, we've got you covered. What does gotcha mean? It means no matter who you are. Or what age. Whether you just need coverage for one. Or for you, your wife, or kids. You've got choices for great health plans. And Medicare supplements. All our plans have options. With different levels of coverage. And deductibles and co-payments. Mom, can I get covered? Of course. <laughs> Have questions? Visit fbhealthplans.com or your local Farm Bureau office. We've got you covered. It's time to announce the AutoZone Player of the Week. Get in the zone, AutoZone. In the zone for Tennessee was Robert Hubbs III for scoring a career-high 20 points against Auburn. Congratulations to Robert Hubbs III, our AutoZone Player of the Week. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone, AutoZone. It's time now for Ask the Coach, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price every day. Academy Sports and Outdoors, proud corporate sponsor of the Vols. Coach, the uh, question this week comes from Jim Feeney. We talked about it just a moment ago, but he wants to know again about the, the freshmen, how much they have improved and what specifically have they improved in, you think? They've improved a lot, and I don't think there's just one area. I think there's a lot of different areas that when you come in as freshmen that you've got to understand and how one time management, how do you manage your time academically along with your basketball responsibilities and, and all the other things that, that takes to being a freshman in college. But on the basketball court, I, I think one, they, they understand now that it's so much harder because it's every single day. It's about being consistent. They've had a great role model in terms of watching a guy like Kevin Punter who goes about things in a, in a great way. Every, every coach would want to coach him. And I do think that he has, has had an impact. But uh, when you look at uh, each one of them, they, they really have, uh, there's not one area of the game that, that they haven't improved on. There's a 20 hour rule where you can structure, but they've got to get in more than 20 hours, don't they? Well, week? the players that love it, they, they do. You know, they're going to go in there like Kevin Pondra. I, I keep mentioning him because I don't, I mean, that's been a great story this year in college basketball. A guy that's changed his shot. He's had to play a position he's never played, and he just simply has put his time in. And, and they all dream of playing at the le next level, and to do that, yeah, you're going to have to put a lot more time in than what we're, we have here to work with you. A couple of road games coming up Saturday at Missouri. The next Thursday, the rematch with Kentucky up in Lexington. These are two big challenges. Well, they are, and, and I think, again, we, we know that we've had one road win this year in the, in the SEC, and uh, we know going to Missouri is not going to be easy. I mean, uh, Cam Anderson still has his team playing as hard as anybody in the league, and so that's not going to be easy, and then we obviously are going to have to – get ready after that to go back up and play Kentucky. So two big challenges for Tennessee on the road, and we'll have highlights of both of those games next week as we talk Tennessee basketball with Coach Rick Barnes. This has been a presentation of the Vol Network, produced by IMG, the world's premier sports media and entertainment company, produced at the Hand Digital Studio.